every morning I get up and I pour myself this cup of coffee and look forward to the challenges and the adventures ahead because each morning brings new ones. Let's see what today brings. Good morning, morning. It's uh, almost time to go here. Got a lot of wind overnight. I think um, it's gonna be a good morning because we rarely get winds like this blowing this heavy uh, during the morning. So usually we hunt in the evenings just cause it's a little bit more predictable, a little windier, a little easier to get up on animals, but it was blowing hard last night, probably 30 to 40 miles an hour all night. So, Heading out here, just waiting for the sun to crack just a little bit. Get up on some animals, it'll be fun. A little tired, but optimistic. It's always a good day when you're out in nature, so hope you guys enjoy the video and see you soon. I got a lot going on right now. Camera equipment, going into a really good bedding area. I think all the deer are going to be coming back to. We have a lot of wind. I heard a big buck howl up the up the road, up the trail. Slipped in, saw saw a big deer, but the wind was swirling. They busted me, so I pulled out. I'm back down here. It's a good area. And throw it in the back. Axis deer are really unique in the fact that they don't all drop their antlers at the same time. Right now I'm finding a lot of velvet bucks out in the field, also hard horns. So when I come across rubs like this on trees, I know there's some hard horns in the area. Wow, I really enjoy hunting these deep jungly areas in Hawaii. There's just so much action. You're coming across wild pigs, feral chickens, axis deer, of course, and it's always super challenging because it's very tight quarters and the wind is swirling and you really have to use your eyesight and your senses, your ears and your eyes to pick up the movements. That's how the deer and the pigs pick up you they are looking for movement so if you can beat them at their own game you're one step ahead
I had two two bucks coming across this ridge. Spotted them, moved back around, got a range at like 25, 26 yards. And he walked out. I drew back. I think I might have hugged the shoulder a little bit, but it looked like I might have clipped him right in the heart. I don't know. I had really good range, but I was just I didn't I didn't take my time on the shot. He ran across and back down right behind me here. So I'm gonna go up and look for my arrow and see what I find. I see my arrow. Okay, arrow's broke. Fuck. Huh. I don't know what that means. Arrow snapped off, no blood. Twenty seven yards. I think I hugged that front shoulder. Right, I'm gonna go look. See if I can't find some blood. Alright, I've got some blood. I'm trying to figure out which way he went because I shot over there. I saw him run through and it looked like he was circling this way. And I picked up the blood right back there. It's just a faint amount. I have plenty of daylight, so I'm pretty sure he's on this path. He didn't come up and go that way. Maybe he did, I'm not sure. Fuck. He might have come up through there and went that way. Blood. Well, I end up tracking this deer for about an hour and a half, and he took me all over the place, up to a couple bedding areas, and all I was finding was faint amounts of blood, just little drops here and there, maybe a little splatter, but everything was low, looks like, like dripping off the leg. And after reviewing the footage, looks like it was a high shoulder shot above the, above the shoulder and forward a little bit too much. I guess I just didn't compensate for that angle going uphill. Probably should have aimed low. Um, but heat of the moment, and that's just what happened. So hopefully it wasn't a fatal shot, but I need to move on and, and uh, try to find a deer to put in the freezer. So.
right in the neck. Perfect shot, right in the neck. Just killed a buck. Oh, that was intense. Just stuffed him. Oh my God. That was intense. Wow. So, got up on, oh my God. Can't believe that just worked out. Didn't even get up from his bed. 15 yards, put it on one white spot, just pinned him. Boom. Thank you, Lord. And the buck that I got earlier, that I shot earlier, was a uh, front leg shot, I think. I'm gonna review the footage, but there was nothing going on. Hardly any blood. Followed him all the way up, broken arrow, just trickle of blood, little spot here, here, nothing. And then it just petered out. This one's thrashing. I broke his neck for sure. He's gonna die, but I might have to go put him down, put another arrow in him or slit his throat. I'm gonna give him about 15 minutes. I'm gonna back out of here. Coming back down through this stuff, see what this looks like. And uh, I had some pigs come in and film them and then they kind of moved off. And I started working through this and just as I come around the corner and look in the light, I see the back of a, a, a deer laying down bedded at 15 yards. I'm downwind, doesn't smell me, doesn't see me. Turning, looking to the left and I could see his whole neck. And I was like, man, if I put it on that one spot, you're either gonna hit the hit the jugular or you're gonna hit the spine, you're gonna spine them. And so I waited and waited and I made the decision to take that shot. And he looked away and I pulled back, brought everything into focus, leveled it off and squeezed it off and just dropped him. Obviously no time to get him on film. Flat. I need to put another arrow on him. He's not dead. I broke his back, but he's not dead. Put one right in his, kind of right behind the chest, through the bottom, through his brisket. Trying to hit the heart, but I shot a little low. He's bleeding good out of it, though. Nice little velvet buck. Here's my first arrow. Right in the back of the neck. I'll flip him over, you can see that. Second arrow. A little far back. Got pretty blessed with this guy. Really bummed that I didn't find that other one, but I thought I made a good shot. I just, I don't think I took my time. This was almost to give me at like 15 yards, so to put it right in the back of his neck. All right, time to get to work. Woo! Kind of pumped. I might not seem like it, but I'm pretty pumped. But I was up so early, I'm, I'm just tired. Get him out of here. I wanna show you that shot. That's the white spot that I was going for right there. Well, hopefully I did this right. It took a while, but I think it's gonna be super worth it. Hopefully it's good. Hold it up. Well, I would love to set the camera up there and give you some uh, taking the meat out shots, but that's not realistic. Who does that? Definitely not gonna do that. I'm gonna give you live, real, spider web in the face, hiking out, with meat on the back, and the cape, and a bow, and my camera equipment. 
and I'm not gonna go set the camera up so you can get the money shot. No thanks. Hey, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah, I really appreciate it and stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get some more footage and we'll put together another video here soon and um, yeah, keep you stoked and entertained. Until then, happy trails.